हेलो एवरीवन अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ नेहा गुप्ता योर मेंटर फॉर करंट अफेयर्स सो आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर एक्साइटेड टू लर्न समथिंग न्यू टुडे लेट्स बिगिन टुडे वीडियो व्हिच विल डेफिनेटली गिव यू समथिंग न्यू एंड यूजफुल इंफॉर्मेशन सो गाइस आई होप यू आर अवेयर ऑफ द लाइव क्लासेस शेड्यूल ऑफ आवर्स फॉर आरबीएस एबी एंड नबार्ड एंड यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट नबार्ड ग्रेड ए क्रैश कोर्स हैज आल्सो बीन लॉन्च्ड दिस इज आवर मोबाइल ऐप on which you can scroll to know more about us to know more about the offerings that we provide you so it becomes handy for you to access the course and everything on the mobile application so here these are the three channels i hope you are aware that you are not alone in your journey of preparation you can call us you can mail us you can scroll our website for more updates so these are the channels that we have for uh, you guys so that you can connect with your mentor So on that note, let's begin with the first question. Telangana CM K Chandrasekhar Rao has launched the first of its kind, Nethana Bima scheme. That is an insurance scheme for the viewers. For this scheme, the state government has partnered with Life Insurance Corporation of India. What is the maximum sum assured in this scheme, guys? Now here, understand this point that. Yes, I agree. I always tell you that whenever it is a state scheme, you don't have to go into too much details. You just need to remember the name of the state as well as the scheme as well as its purpose. But understand this point that we are talking about an insurance scheme, and what is the benefit of remembering an insurance scheme when you don't even know the maximum sum assured under the scheme? So. understand this point that whenever we are talking about the crux of the scheme the crux here is the insurance itself therefore you are expected to go down uh, to go deep into this kind of news so now let's understand what is the uh, news exactly first of all the answer of this question is rupees 5 lakh so now you know that under the ayushman bharat scheme we have 5 lakh rupees insurance under this nithana bima yojana we have 5 lakh rupees insurance and uh, many of the state health insurance schemes also offer the same insurance amount to the poor families okay so amount yaad rakhne mein aapko itni difficulty nahi hogi kyunki amount same hi hai for majority of the schemes now let's move into the details so you know that this is the scheme for the viewers now the scheme was launched on a very special day the day was the national handloom day when do we celebrate that day tell me in the comment section below last week only the day has passed tell me when is the date okay as far as this scheme is concerned so viewers families will get a uh, sum assured of rupees 5 lakh in the case of the death of the viewer that is the entire basis of this scheme moving ahead so we all know that for this scheme uh, telangana state government has partnered with the life insurance corporation of india and the state department for handloom and textile is the nodal agency for the implementation of this scheme a very basic fact a textile scheme would obviously be uh, will be the responsibility of the textile department of the state there is nothing much complex here but additionally the additional point here is that at present 5% gst is levied on the textile sector at the national level and why particularly are we discussing this first of all uh, the reason is that the telangana government the telang uh, telangana cm urged the, the central government to waive off this gst so that the uh, incentivization of the textile sector can be done so that is the basic idea moving ahead the next question is dash is a market linkage scheme in the jammu and kashmir for the shipment of agriculture and horticulture perishables through air cargo under the scheme government will provide a subsidy of 25% on freight charges in a bid to carry perishable foods through air cargo farmers get the price of their produce directly in their bank account with no intermediary in between identify the name of the scheme so here what is the right answer the right answer is parvas now the basic purpose of this scheme is clear in the question itself there is actually nothing to discuss in the news in itself because i have told you the details of the scheme in the question the scheme basically aims to provide the subsidy on the air cargo on the freight 
charged by the farmers sorry charged on the farmers for sending their goods to another country or to another city through the airports okay so for the air cargo a uh, um uh, 25% subsidy is given moving ahead farmers get the price of their produce directly into their bank accounts therefore their income is also getting increased and this is a step towards the doubling of the income of farmers now on that note weekly tell me which committee suggested the government of india to double the uh, income of farmers by 2022 uh, coming back to this news jammu kashmir horticulture produce marketing and processing corporation is the implementing agency of the scheme next question is which bank has launched universe metaverse virtual launch and open open banking sandbox environment so here the right answer is ubi all the bank names are written in the short form to make you prepared for the uh, questions like these okay you can expect the uh, options in this manner as well so be prepared so here the right answer is union bank of india uni union okay from union to uni okay uh, so this is the name of this platform now what is the use of this metaverse platform you all know that metaverse platform is basically an advanced or we can say a better version of the virtual reality to make you feel the virtual as the real that is the basic idea of the metaverse most of you must have played the metaverse games as well so the purpose of this bank to launch the metaverse platform is that it wants to acquaint its customers with the services that it offers and that acquaintance or that knowledge will be given at the comfort of their homes itself okay so the customers can view can visit virtually the uh, the branch of the uh, bank by sitting at their home zone so that is the basic idea okay now apart from this there is one more thing that the union bank of india has given a certain name that is race to its to its aim so the aim of this bank is to give better services to uh, fast pace its digital transformation and for that aim it has given the name race so race is not an initiative race is just a name that the a uh, bank has given to its efforts in 2022 like we have the azadi ka amrit mahotsav so that is the name not a scheme not an initiative that is the name of the year similarly race is the name of the aim of this bank i hope that you are getting my point i know it's a bit i guess weird that why do they need to give the name to their aim but let it be this is the news itself so i hope you are understanding what i'm trying to say here moving ahead which bank has signed an mou with the srm university andhra pradesh to provide loans of up to rupees 50 crores to startups incubated by hatch lab research center of the university so first of all note this point that this center is an incubator now the answer is indian bank so exactly the news is that the indian bank has partnered with uh, the srm university andhra pradesh and the basic purpose of this collaboration is to provide funding to the startups incubated by the incubator of this university and the name of the incubator is hatch lab research center okay so that is the basic idea now how much funding will be given so up to 50 crores funding would be provided by the bank now this is done under a specific initiative of the bank itself and that initiative is in springboard so guys i hope you all are aware of this initiative which was launched in 2020 by the bank so it is a very old initiative to give a boost to the msmes and the startups in india by this bank okay so that is the all uh, the entire news moving ahead uh, which company has launched a cross border payments platform for small to medium sized businesses called global pay so here you have the five options out of which amex so what is amex amex is the right answer but what is amex amex is the short form or you can say portmanteau word for the american express the amalgamation of two words so american express you all 
know what it it has launched the platform now it is a digital payment platform particularly for the businesses so now the businesses can make their payments to another business cross borders basically international payments are now allowed or basically facilitated by the american express so this is just a company who is it to allow the cross border payments it is the company that is going to facilitate that payment among the businesses do remember it is the business to business platform so that is all to it do remember the name is global pay so what are the points that you need to remember here american express global pay and b2b that's it here the entire news is summarized for you who has been elected as the vice president of fide so fide is guys your international chess federation headquartered in switzerland so in which city of switzerland is it headquartered it is lausanne now as far as the vice president is concerned it's a proud moment because vishwanath anand has been elected as the vice president of this uh, organization and the international chess federation and rkd vorkovich from russia is the president he has been reelected which country has become the title sponsor for all matches of the board of control for cricket in india so here guys mastercard is the right answer earlier it was paytm but now mastercard has been appointed as the uh, sponsor for all the matches of the bcci now guys who is the sponsor of ipl it is tata pehle vivo ke paas tha but now it is with tata now as far as the national cricket team of india is concerned Baijus is the official sponsor of India's national cricket team, and now we are talking about Baijus. So I hope all of you are aware that Baijus is also the official sponsor of the FIFA World Cup, which is going to be held in Doha, Qatar. Qatar. Okay. So do remember such facts because these are important and very factual. Very, I would say, very. then in nature they can skip your memory the next question is who has become the 75th grand master of india so it is v pranav now always remember the match in which the person has got this kind of achievement so after winning in this match he had uh, he had attracted or collected the required scores to get the title of the grand master now in which unit do we measure the scores of the chess players do you know this fact if you know it then do mention it in the comment section below it's a i guess a bit off track question but let's let me test your general awareness do tell me the unit in which we measure the scores of the chess players now as far as this news is concerned so v pranav became the 75th grand master of india by winning in the limpedia open which was conducted or held in romania who has won the men's singles at the 2022 city open so here nick kirgios is the right answer he is from australia so men's singles has been won by nick and women's singles has been won by a player from russia uh, lyudmala samsonova from russia okay now these uh facts i have mentioned just for your information do you uh, don't try to muddle these facts okay so these are very i would say non essential from your for your exam preparation uh this is a format of the tennis that is played tennis tournament ka ek uh, format hota hai ye wala theek hai so atp 500 is the 500 uh, is the uh, your tennis tournament conducted by the association of tennis professionals that is the uh, tennis uh, the association for the men's tennis tournaments and this is women's tennis association so it uh, handles the tournaments for the women's tennis okay so that is all don't uh, try to mug up these facts but do remember men singles by nick kirgios and women singles by lyudmila samsonova another fact that is important is that this city open is also known as the washington open and obviously it is no 
as the Washington Open, so it is played in Washington itself. But the point here is that it is played out outdoors on the hard court. Okay, so there is one tennis Grand Slam tournament that is played on uh, the in played in the Roland Garros Stadium. Tell me in which type of court is this tennis tournament played? So this is only one of the uh, one out of the four Grand Slam tournaments that is played on a specific type of court. This is your question to tell me. Next question is Nikhat Zarin has won the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games 2022. Which sport does she belong to? So she belongs to boxing. Now you all know that Commonwealth Games are over and India has ranked at the fourth position, which is comparatively a very good position for India. Total 61 medals have been won. 22 out of the 61 are the gold, then 16 silver, 23 bronze. Do remember these numbers because Commonwealth is an important tournament, okay? The an important event. Australia is at the number one position. Now let's have a look at the gold medalers. So, PV Sindhu, Meera Bhai uh, Channu, uh, Bajrang Punia, Sakshi Malik, Lakshya Sen, Achinta, Sholi, Dip, uh, Deepak Punia, Nikat Zari. All of these people have won the gold. Now, the list also has uh, many people. We have Eldhos Paul, Ravi Dhaiya, Neetu Gangas, Jeremy, Vinesh, uh, Vinesh Fogart, Amit Pangal and Pangal and uh, your Navi. So all of these players have won the gold medals in the Commonwealth Games. Okay. So here this video ends. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. And if you really have enjoyed it, then do share it among your friends as well. Thank you so much for watching it.